Layers are the building blocks for maps and scenes. They provide the geographic content and define how that content should be displayed. Over the past few releases of the runtime, we've been adding support for new layer types, data sources, and formats so that your native apps can work with a wide variety of spatial data. Let me show you a few examples. First up, we added support for a very popular vector file format that many of you in the room may know about and have asked us to support. I'm talking about shape files. So here, I have a shape file that I've loaded onto the device using a file sharing service like iCloud. I can go ahead and tap on the file and choose to open it with an app that I built with the ArcGIS runtime and display that data on a map. In this case, we're looking at subdivisions in the Aurora, Colorado area. Because the data is being read locally from disk and rendered natively by runtime, it's extremely fast. Not only can I display the data, I can also query it. For instance, find a subdivision by name. And if I want to edit data, I can do that too. For instance, by adding a new feature on the map. And I can do all of this using the same programming patterns that I used to work with feature data from other sources, like remote ArcGIS feature services or local mobile geodatabases. Next, I want to talk about the support we've added it for some OGC formats so that your native apps can work with third-party GIS systems and be part of a larger solution. We can display tiles from WMTS services. For example, in this case, we're looking at sectional charts produced by the FAA containing visual flight rules for the greater Atlanta area. We can also display dynamic data from WMS services. For instance, in this case, we're looking at no-fly zones for drones in the Netherlands. I can even tap on the map to identify a feature and display the HTML information that that service sends back. Not only have we added support for OGC services like WMS and WMTS, we've also added support for GeoPackages, which is an OGC file format based on SQLite databases to contain both raster and vector data sets. In this app, I have bundled a geo package that I can go ahead and inspect and see what data I have available. I can add locations of public art displays in the Denver area. And if I want to ride my bike between them, I can even add locations of bike lanes. The geo package contains another raster data set showing the noise pollution in the Denver area. And if I go ahead and look at where the heat map is strongest, you'll see that it's in areas where we have Air Force bases and airports. Not only can we support rasters from geo packages, but we've also added support for a wide variety of popular file formats, like DTEDs, GeoTIFF, Mosaic datasets. And we also support remote ArcGIS image services. Lastly, I want to show you the support we've added for displaying electronic nautical charts based on the IHO S57 and S52 specification. This type of vector format is very popular with onboard systems of ships and used for marine navigation. So here I have a data set that I got from NOAA, and you'll see that it's visually very rich and sophisticated because a mariner may use it for things like grounding and collision avoidance. As a mariner, I can customize the display by switching between night and day mode. I can choose to display safety contours of different depths, like 2 meters, 5 meters, or 10 meters. And I can also display the location of other features, such as buoys, beacons, anchorages, restricted areas, submarine cables, and all of those things that I need to do my navigation. And all of this works using local data on the device, no internet connection required. So those were just some of the examples of the layer types and formats that we've added to runtime.